Let's see. Just specify a width of 100%. So it takes on the width of the wrapper. Description div. So each of these div items that I created for the uh, tab description and clear left. So that way it bumps down below the unordered list. Background to that light faint gray width of 100% and height of 200 pixels. And that's it for our styling. So if I hit save and I go back out here, you can see that I have my tabs and then I also have my text elements. One thing that I did forget, uh, which I don't have in my cheat sheet over here, is my wrapper. I forgot to add in padding of 1 em so just a, a one font size padding around the whole thing that will just bump it out a little bit so you can actually see the tabs here um, the other thing that I forgot geez I'm forgetting a lot of stuff today um, is in the list item just to add a cursor type pointer and that'll just create a, a cursor when you hover over it so that way it looks like it's a it's an active um, link and then I'm just going to do a text decor uh, tra transform uppercase so that way everything displays in uppercase there we go and now we need to add the click events so in order to do that we got to go get jQuery and I, I started looking at different ways to do this and I think the best approach in my opinion is getting it from Google and the reason why I say this is because when you load it from Google there's a content delivery network and what that does is they have different servers around the world and you it'll pull the information from you, the closest server to you so you're not going to California or England or Russia or something like that to grab a, a script file that is rather small and you need it pretty quickly so it's uh, to me it's the best approach then I'm just adding in the script to grab that Google src equals HTTP forward slash forward slash www.google.com forward slash J S API JavaScript API get out of that and now we're just going to add in our script that we're going to use to uh, create our page or our, do our layouts um, All right. So, and in order to start our load, we got to do Google .load, and Google is our object that we're using. This is the Google object that we downloaded here. So, Google .load jQuery. So we're specifying what type. They have different ones. So take a look if you want to start using different. Uh, jQuery libraries or, or JavaScript libraries. Um, I've used jQuery, jQuery user or jQuery UI. Um, there's a couple of different ones out there, but right now the current version is 1.4.3, and I believe you can specify different versions. And the only difference between regular jQuery and using this method, you have to use a different uh, page ready type. So instead of document dot ready which you may see in other tutorials you have to do google dot set on load callback and then specify a function and then do all your jQuery coding in here alright so now we have our I'm just gonna make sure we have our jQuery loading so I'm gonna go into firebug and 
HTML. And I'm just going to refresh the page. Go under head script. Yep, that looks like it's loading correctly. And that's just our regular uh, script block that we, we added. So I'm going to switch back over. And the first thing I'm going to do is, well, kind of explain jQuery and what this actually means. Okay, so the dollar sign is like your jQuery hotkey. Uh, and basically this is saying, okay, this is a jQuery function. Um, and then anything that you specify in here is what you're searching for. So you're searching for an ID of description and within that ID, your div tag. So within this, I want to do, I want to search for all my div tags. Let me see if I can hide this. Oops. Okay. So I want to search for all my div tags and I want to hide all of them. And hide is a jQuery uh, function, so you have to have a jQuery object in order to do this. So hide and then filter. Well, you could do it either way. I did it filter first and show. But really the more efficient way is to do not first. And what this is, the, anything with a colon and a word after it is like a, a filter type or filter object. So I'm selecting everything that falls under this description. So everything that is in the description and a div item and not if the first object in that list, uh, because this is actually returning an array, um, I want to hide all those objects. And that's probably the best approach right there rather than the other way, which is uh, grab everything. Here, I'll just I'll show you really quick. That would be the other way. I think this is a little more efficient because you're not trying to hide everything and then show one again. So I'm going to save that go back out to my page and refresh. Oh, that didn't work. Um, I'll delete this and see what happens and refresh the page. Hmm. Looks like my jQuery isn't loading correctly. All right, a little debugging tutorial. Um, if something like that happens, you can always check to see if it is grabbing something by wrapping your whole thing and putting in a length. So alert. And then you have whatever it is you want to alert. So let's go ahead and save this. Oh, I know what I'm, though. I had a, a bracket rather than a, a closing um, closing uh, parenthesis there. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Okay, so now that's working. And I'm just going to modify this again. Dot hide. Whoops, first. All right, I just want to see. Oh, I'm at 20 minutes, so I'll have to break this up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, refresh the page, and now I only have my first tab. So I'm going to go ahead and back into Eclipse. And from here, I'm going to select everything in my tabs that is a list item. And I want to add a click event to it and give it a function and then pass the event alright so var id equals 